for tuning in to another episode of Eating Out in Vegas. Oh, I apologize. This was the best thing that I could do. My backdrops didn't come in, so I had to kind of improvise. Hopefully I'll be able to have some cute Christmas ones up for you. So, now another apology that I will give you is that I may not be able to get out a video this week. Aside from my full-time job and doing this channel, I'm a crafter, and this is my busy time of the season. November, December is just super crazy for me. Um, getting ready to do my first show, which happens to be this weekend on Friday, Saturday, and Sunday, November 1st, 2nd, and 3rd. And I'll post a flyer so you guys can see the times and the location. And, you know, seeing as this is a food channel, I will have to say, please come and visit me over at the craft show because they do have some good eats there. They've got a fantastic bake sale that they do. And then they've also got their snack bar, which has some phenomenal items there. And if they bring back the pulled pork that they did last year, you guys will not be disappointed. So, so good. So now that I have shamelessly plugged my craft show, on to our review this week. We went to Eli's. They have two locations. The first location is the one that we went to, which is 2855 North Green Valley Parkway in Henderson. Their other location is 2477 East Tropicana in Las Vegas. Now, I'm going to show you the menu, and again, another apology. It, it is so cram-packed that probably the best thing that you could do is go online to Eli's Restaurant LV.com to view the actual menu because it is so cram-packed on here and so tiny. Even if you have 20-20 vision, you need a magnifying glass to read it. So hopefully they'll see this and take this into consideration. I know printing's expensive and whatnot, but it needs to be able to be read. So that being said, um, we've been to this restaurant previously once before, and how we had found the place, aside from driving by it a lot, is we had gotten coupons in the the mail. The, I think they're like saver coupons or something like that. It comes in a big blue and white envelope. And they've got some fantastic coupons on there. I believe they've also got a coupon in the entertainment book as well. Now, I didn't notice this the first time that we went in. And um, my husband, having previously been in the food industry, mentioned that they were cleaning their grill or bricking the grill, I believe is the term that he used, for when they're scrubbing it down and cleaning it and whatnot, it happens to emit a smell. Now, it went away after a little bit of us being in there. So, you know, we did hear them scraping. You could hear them actually cleaning it and whatnot. And it's probably not something that they should do during business hours, my husband said it's normally something you do at the end of the night because of the smell that it gives off. And to their defense, when we came in, there was nobody in there, so it could have just been a slow time. Maybe they thought they could hurry up and get it taken care of before customers started coming in for dinner. But that being said, if you come across anything like that, don't worry. That's, you know, we figured out that that's what it was. And, um... When we were there previously, and I didn't realize that what we had ordered previously was prior to me deciding to do the channel. So I didn't put into relation what I'd had before as to what I had now. And also realizing that my husband actually ordered the exact same thing that he had on our first visit. So... Unfortunately, I don't have a lot of variety to focus on for this visit. Um, what I had had previously was the Philly cheesesteak sandwich was actually very good. This time I ended up having steak fajitas. So 
pretty sure that they're using the same steak for both. Um, I will say with the fajitas, they had a good flavor, but they're kind of a pain to eat. The meat was chopped up so fine that it was falling through the fork. So I ended up having to use a spoon to be able to scoop up the fajita mixture and put it on the tortilla. Now, speaking of tortillas, it comes with the tiny corn tortillas. I'm not a big corn tortilla fan to begin with. I had asked the girl if they had flour tortillas, and she says, oh, I'll go and ask. Well, she never came back with an answer. So she came back to refill drinks, never once mentioned about the tortillas. Finished, you know, was eating the meal. I ran out of the little corn tortillas. She came back again, asked to even remove the plate the tortillas were on and still did not remember that I had asked her about the flour tortillas, nor did she even offer me any more of the corn tortillas, and I still had a lot of meat left on the plate. So I believe it's a family-run business, and I think that she's probably a family member and doesn't have a whole lot of service experience. So kind of let that go, okay. Um, that being said, you know, again, the, the corn tortillas for fajitas to me, if you're going to use those, you might as well just call it a taco because that's pretty much what it was. Um, you know, but that's not to say, I mean, they were good, you know, didn't have any problem with that. They, it comes with rice, which is average, and it comes with your refried beans. Average, you know, again, nothing, you know, that stands out. It's, you know, typical. The fajita part was the, you know, the star of the dish, and, and like I said, it had a very good flavor. Now, my husband, like I said, he, on the first visit, had the same thing <laughs> on the second visit. And what he had was a mega burger. It has five patties. There's a burger you can get that has up to seven patties. I don't even know how that's even possible, <laughs> but my husband said it's a little difficult to eat. It has a great flavor. I got to try some of it. It comes with bacon, two different types of cheeses, I believe American and Swiss. It's got onion, tomato, lettuce. And then you have your choice of onion rings or french fries, and for an upcharge, I think you can get curly fries. My husband chose the onion rings. The onion rings were really good, had a great flavor, and super, super, super crisp. Um, so that being said, I mean, that was pretty much it for the actual meal. Um, one of our good friends, Isaac kind of brought something to my attention that I really hadn't thought of until he had brought it up. So now that it's it's kind of become a pet peeve of mine, when going out and eating, one of the things that the waitress should do after you've eaten your meal is offer you dessert. They did not offer dessert. We, so essentially, because they just brought the check and didn't offer the dessert, we ultimately didn't order dessert, which we probably would have had she asked. So hopefully, again, if they're watching, you know, just kind of take that into account that, you know, that might be something that you may want to suggest for your staff to do is prior to giving out the check, ask if you'd like dessert. Could make the difference of another five or ten bucks to the bill. So, um, yeah, that's it for this week. Relatively quick. And, um, you know, good place to stop at. You know, relatively inexpensive. They're very quick on their service. The place is clean, spacious, plenty of seating. 
and um, yeah, you know, it's in a good area that's located off of uh, Sunset and Green Valley Parkway, and uh, you know, stop in, give them a try, and like I said, search for those coupons, because they've got some really good coupons. The one that we used was a buy one, get one, and then I ended up passing off the other coupon to some patrons that were in the restaurant that was $10 off of 20 so, again, you know, good place to, to stop and eat. Um, one thing is, is if you happen to be a um, person that is wanting to give Grubhub a try, I've uh, posted a card with a code on it, and it's for first-time Grubhub patrons that if you order from Eli's, your first app order of $15 or more gives you $12 off. That's pretty amazing. So if it's something that you've never tried, hey, you may want to give that a shot. Like I said, you know, $12 off of $15 or more, it's a pretty good deal. This place is definitely not afraid to give discounts and offer coupons. So give them a shot, stop by, say hi, let them know where you saw it at, and um, again, come by and see me at the craft show. Stop by, say hi, and grab some stuff to eat there. Appreciate your guys' support. Thank you so much for watching. Don't forget to hit that subscribe button and the bell so you get notified, and hopefully I will be able to put out a video next week and if I don't I apologize and I will try and do a double feature the following week after that once I get past this first craft show it'll be a little bit easier so thanks again guys for watching you have a great week